Hello everyone, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So today I'm creating a new video which emphasizes on creating ads for Facebook arbitrage. So this is purely how to create a really good Facebook ad. And uh, before I start this, I want to tell you something. I see a lot of people are not subscribed to this channel. I would recommend you to subscribe because in the upcoming days, I'm going to release more videos. And what YouTube does is that if you're not subscribed and you don't comment or like or anything, they're going to uh, lower down all the videos and they're not going to show up on your uh, YouTube features and stuff. So you're going to miss all my videos. I would definitely recommend to subscribe and uh, I'm going to create more videos on how to make money online and all this stuff. If you have any questions for AdSense, Arbitrage and everything. Also, I'm going to share some deals and uh, free giveaways for most of the plugins and themes. So make sure to hit the subscribe button and without any further ado, let's start. All right. So the first thing I go is I open a couple of websites are like dailymail.co.uk and express.co.uk these websites can kind of give me an idea on what kind of arbitrage uh, ad are getting high clicks for example if you look at here Heidi Klum stuns in a sleek cocktail dress and this this kind of ad the pictures looks really great also this one is also an ad arbitrage so if you guys ask me how I know this, I look at the sponsored links. So the only reason that these ads come up here is because they're really, really uh, well-performed ads. And if you click on this, craftthoughts.co, these people are already running the arbitrage game on this website. So like we have to follow what they're doing. So they click the next and sometimes they click on here and it becomes, you know, an AdSense arbitrage. So I kind of see what kind of ads are running here and kind of look at here. Uh, and then express.co.uk. I can also go here and kind of check out what kind of ads are running. For example, this one. Uh, this one is actually not an arbitrage. It's more like a, like a payment or job or something. But it kind of gives me a really good idea. Like this one is an arbitrage. This is Mike Tyson's net worth in 2021. So this guy's running AdSense arbitrage on a financial website. I bet his CPC and CPM is really high. And you can kind of like a, get a good uh, thing, like a good uh, impressions on what you need to do. And then we will come back here and we will create a, an ad. So I'm going to create a whole ad from the very beginning to help you guys out and kind of, you know, uh, help you guys with the AdSense arbitrage uh, thing. So the first thing we need to do, we need to make sure that we are clicking on the traffic and we will give it some names. For example, arbitrage Facebook example, just a, just a campaign name. We're going to create an ad set. So we're going to name this one. So this is really important that you name this one because the after after creating and applying for the ad we're going to create multiple uh, copies of this ad section and also we're going to create an ad here which is this one just one and one and then the campaign name so we're going to click on continue and then we're going to click on campaign budget optimization our daily budget will be ten dollars and the lowest cost campaign beta will be lowest cost and then we're going to click on the next here now we are on the ad set options uh, so let's try to uh, target more people so what we're going to do here is we're going to we're going to target worldwide We're going to target worldwide. All right. So it's think 2.8 billion people. And then we're going to exclude some of the people from here to exclude that. We need to click on here and then exclude some countries because they're very, very low performing ads. We're going to exclude this India, Iraq, Iraq, uh, Syria I guess not Syria let's like they have very Syria mm. 
it's not showing me in the city wow it's not even included in the city all right and if not then pakistan i'm going to exclude all of these things all right and yeah that's pretty much it and if possible i'm i really highly doubt that the the ad that we're going to target is going to reflect any of the african nations but if we do see any kind of african nations we're just gonna we can just come here and exclude them all right so let's say your ad is about uh for example let's say your ad is about uh movies right so let's say we're gonna target people with the movies like your films this is called detail targeting and then what we're going to do we're going to click on suggestions and we're gonna put most of the stuff comedy films netflix uh action films horror films action movie theater and we're gonna put all of this okay so after after we include most of the people we will see how much people uh, we can target from this section and then uh we're gonna save this audience and we're gonna click on manual placement so we're gonna take out all these things that we don't need come down and take out all these things also just keep the facebook news feed also take out this 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 also this take out everything except the facebook news feed and we're going to uh, click on landing page views like optimization and delivery so we need to make sure that the people that come to our website uh they're highly motivated so we need to make sure that we click on we we select on this one and then what we are going to do we're going to click on next uh yes so i will put the uh website url later but i want to show you how you can create a very effective ad i'm just give an example let's say we go to screen rent it's a website about movies and stuff right so i try to create really really good uh picture with images like this one let's say i create all of these things beforehand so let's say i create i copy this one and So I passed this one. I take out the link because it doesn't look good. So I click on uh, tag your tag your friends or something like that. Or or can you relate? Can you relate to this? So I kind of like ask a question to my audience, right? Uh, I'm gonna click on the post. So after this, what I do is I come back to the ad manager. And I click on the use existing post and I select post which I recently published this one and then I click on continue okay I don't create a new ad what happened is that when you're it's better to create a really really good article with really good high quality click-through rate pictures which I already showed you how you can find those stuff and kind of come in the uh in your website create those assets and then publish on your facebook page like this and then try to pull that um, post from this ad section what it does is that if you create a different type of version of this you're not going to lose any of your uh, likes and comments uh, on the post that you will get for your uh, facebook ad or engagement so it will kind of gives you a way high more engagements way have more social proof that people will look at and they'll comment you know they'll click on your ad so this is pretty much it that's the pretty much the deal i go through and if you're really interested in learning about the whole process and everything i would recommend uh, checking the description so i'll put the uh, the course link on there and you can check out and we'll get back with you as soon as possible so this is pretty much it uh, thank you guys for today's uh, session i hope you guys have uh, have a really great day and let me know if you guys have any question on the comment section i'll try to answer as much as i can i'm going to create more videos make sure to subscribe and let me know